real central mission of the Finger Lakes Grape Program is to develop and communicate information that has a very real and applied purpose for the grape growers in the Finger Lakes region. Usually we do that through demonstrations and research plots on growers' fields. But there are some times where we want to do a trial or try a new technique or a piece of equipment and we don't want to do it in a grower's field because we don't want to damage any vines and impact the grower's ability to make money. So we really figured out that we needed a place where we could do some of that kind of work and also have a place where we could do educational programming for people who are maybe getting into the industry or growers who are looking for new varieties potentially to add to their vineyards. And so we came up with this idea of developing a teaching and demonstration vineyard for the Finger Lakes. So as we were working on developing this idea, we realized there was another institution in the area that also was teaching people about viticulture, and that's the Finger Lakes Community College. So we went to Paul Brock, who's the leader of the Viticulture and Wine Technology Program at FLCC, and asked him if they would be interested in partnering with us on this vineyard as a place where their students could come and learn about viticulture. Paul was very enthusiastic about that idea. The leadership at FLCC and at Cornell were both very enthusiastic about that partnership. So we came together and were able to receive funding from the Genesee Valley Regional Market Authority to develop this new vineyard. My name is Paul Brock. I'm the assistant professor of viticulture and wine technology at Finger Lakes Community College. And we cover subjects ranging from looking at a piece of land and figuring out if we can plant grapes there, all the way to whatever grapes we do plant, putting them in the bottle at its finished line. And the teaching and demonstration vineyard has become a huge part of what makes this program such a success in educating our students. You know, some of the, the students that go out there the first time you know, maybe have only stepped foot in a vineyard once or twice before. Each student is spending up to 12 hours in the vineyard, uh, pruning and tying and getting to know the vines, whether they be working on a vinifera vine or a hybrid vine. They're all getting exposure to all of the different vines out there. Then in the summertime, general shoot positioning, leaf pulling, scouting for insects and other diseases, and just really talking about the differences, how the vines are growing, the different characteristics of the different varieties. So exposing the students to everything we can possibly think of when we're out there in the given amount of time. As we transition into the fall and getting closer to harvest, students are now in a, a winemaking class and they're going to be out there sampling every week, doing bricks, TA, pH, until it's time to harvest those grapes. So once the grapes come in here and uh, once fermentation starts, all the students are participating on a daily basis. Uh, they take turns coming in, even on days where we don't have class. and really intensively looking after the lines to make sure we don't mess up everything that we did in the vineyard. And it's really interesting to see what some of the graduates are doing. I'm Andy Hawk and I joined the Viticulture and Wine Technology Program at FLCC in 2011 and graduated in 2013. After I graduated from FLCC, I transferred to Cornell University into their Viticulture and Enology Program. The hands-on training that we received in the teaching vineyard really prepared me for the Cornell program. My name is Paige Vinson and I'm the winemaker for Rooster Hill Vineyards on Cuca Lake. I joined the FLCC Viticulture and Wine Technology program in 2012. I absolutely think the FLCC program helped me break into the industry. I found working in the uh, teaching demonstration vineyard to be thoroughly helpful. As winemakers, we rely so heavily on the caliber of the fruit coming into the winery to dictate a lot of our decisions. So for that reason, you really do need to have, I think, a solid understanding of what practices in the vineyard ultimately uh, produce the kind of fruit that you need to be able to work in the winery. For the past five years now, the Finger Lakes Teaching and Demonstration Vineyard has been a great resource, both for our program in our efforts to educate the current growers and winemakers in the Finger Lakes, and also for FLCC, who is educating the next generation of growers and winemakers for the Finger Lakes, New York, and beyond.